Cambodia's main opposition leader, Sam Rainsy, hasn't ruled out mass demonstrations if the standoff over the results of last month's election isn't resolved. Speaking on his return from the United States, the Cambodia National Rescue Party leader maintains his party won the vote, which he says was marred by widespread electoral fraud. Cambodia's election authority this week confirmed the victory announced by the ruling Cambodian People's Party, but the opposition still wants an independent inquiry to proceed. Robert Carmichael is a Phnom Penh-based journalist who's been following the developments. Well, the National Election Committee, which is the body tasked with the election uh, and with the aftermath of the election, is currently going through the complaints process uh, and uh, assessing that. So that process will carry on until next week. Um, and uh, once that is completed, uh, I would imagine there will have to be some sort of resolution. Now, the question really is what the resolution will be. Uh, Sam Ramsey today um, told me out at the airport that he and the CNRP, the opposition party, are adamant that an independent investigation is required. Uh, now, that doesn't look to be happening. In fact, it looks as though the CPP, the ruling party, may have agreed to uh, set up an independent investigation purely as a way of delaying the opposition uh, while the Prime Minister sorted out problems within his own party. Uh, in the recent days, it's become clear the CPP has little interest in an independent investigation. It's almost three weeks since the election and the stalemate over the results is dragging on. What's the feeling on the street? Well, people are concerned. Um, I, and people are concerned about uh, the threat of violence. Now, the ruling party, the government, has said that p putting these uh, armoured personnel carriers, troops, military police uh, around uh, and inside Phnom Penh is nothing to be worried about for ordinary people. But uh, the security forces have a pretty poor reputation in Cambodia, uh, not least for doing what the ruling party or the government tells them, uh, rather than acting on behalf of the people per se. So I think people are concerned. I think they're right to be concerned. Um, but hopefully the politicians will manage to work out some sort of deal uh, and there will be you know, a, a peaceful resolution to this. In conceding ground to the opposition, the Prime Minister Hun Sen seems to have accepted the growing popularity of the CNRP. But who should he be most worried about, the opposition or his own internal party critics? We, we had this strange situation uh, two weeks ago when Prime Minister Hun Sen said that an independent investigation would be, would be fine. He'd be OK with that, um, which struck some people at the time as a bit, as a bit strange because the ruling party uh, and the National Election Committee, which is the body that would be investigated, are it, their critics say they operate hand in glove. So uh, it seemed a little strange at the time, and certainly uh, it now appears that independent investigation is not going to happen. So that may have been a, a, a ruse by the Prime Minister to buy himself time to focus on his bigger issue, which is within the party, one would assume is within the party anyway. Um, the election result was a bad result for the ruling party. They've lost around 22 seats. We don't know precisely yet. We'll get those figures probably later this month, early next month. Um, but they, they did badly, and, uh, and there's no hiding that. So I have no doubt that the Prime Minister has had a task uh, within his own party to try and re-establish some sort of authority. And indeed, there are some people who, or some observers, one I spoke to today, who, who reckon that bringing these tanks and armored personnel carriers into Phnom Penh may be as much about sending a message to people within his own party not to get out of line as it is a useful uh, threat to people from the opposition to stay off the streets. So uh, I think there's probably a bit of both.